Dismas House opened in 1974 and it was Father Jack Hickey. Father Jack Hickey was a Dominican priest who worked at Vanderbilt University um, and he would have students, take students into the prisons to visit with the inmates and get to know them and after doing this for a while they realized how many of those prisoners were homeless. When they got out of prison they had no place to go. So to make a long story short, it took the, the students kind of said, hey, we'll open up a house and we'll live with you. And that became the very first Dismas House of students and people coming out of prison, living together, sharing life together, showing their, uh, learning from each other and living in community and their support for one another. The name Dismas comes from the repentant thief who was crucified alongside Jesus who asked for forgiveness and our mission is to reconcile prisoners with society. Oh gosh, where would we be without volunteers? We uh, would not exist without volunteers. We are volunteer cooks who come in every night, Monday through Friday, and bring food to feed our residents, but also they sit down and share dinner with them. But um, just this home-cooked meal in a family environment is so key. And everything else from fundraising to the maintenance of the house, our board, our volunteers. Yeah, our board members are not paid members, but they're, it's a, it's a working board. You don't join the board and then just sit in meetings, but you're on committees, you're doing the outreach, you're doing the fundraising, you're doing the maintenance of the house, you're doing the nominating committee, looking for new board members, you're meeting with the Dismas of Vermont board, which covers all of Vermont. We have a house in Winooski, a house in Burlington, and a house over in Hartford. So there's about 53 Dismas beds in the state of Vermont. So it's working together with that organization, the larger organization. Um, the volunteers are people who just give their heart and soul to Dismas. And I think one of the best things about that is, is men and women get out of prison. They come here and they realize there are people out there who believe in them, who accept them for who they are and who they want to become, not what they did in the past. Community, I've kind of begun a new slogan that I'm hoping to get going with. It's because of community that Dismas works. It's what's different from coming out of prison and going into an apartment by themselves or one other person, of uh, maybe going back home to where there might have been difficulties. It's a place where they can come, live with 10 other people, and build communities. So they can get up in the morning, go to work, go to programming, meet with their parole officers, do whatever they need to do, and then come home to a community meal and to sit down at night with members in the community and not all alone. So when they're discouraged, when they're frustrated, when they're angry, they have someone to talk to and share life with and get to know and build trust. The biggest thing is for them is to build trust with one another and they have to live with people and get to know them in order to build that trust. So we do things together, um, go camping, go um, boating, you know, cookouts, things like that at times when we can, Christmas celebration together to build that sense of community for them. A big part of what makes Christmas work is the sense of community here and of belonging and not being out there in the world alone. Dinner is really the centerpiece of life here. Uh, we try hard to mirror what a healthy family environment looks like. Uh, in a healthy family, mom and dad go to work, kids go to school, 
but people come home at the end of the day and sit down and eat dinner together, share stories about what's happened during the day. And even bigger than that, bringing the community into the house um, really makes residents feel that there are people who care about them. So many times people getting out of jail have that self-imposed stigma of convict or criminal or bad person. And it's very hard to lose that. So to have people come and bring you dinner helps them build their sense of self-worth. I think that a lot of them are so surprised that these people come into the house and want to sit down and get to know them and not judge them. You never hear the cooks or anyone come and say, so what did you do? Why did you go to jail? They don't ask about that. They don't. They respect them for who they are as people who have maybe have made mistakes in their lives, but more who are you as a person, not what crime did you commit. And for them to get out of jail and realize there's people who will take their time, their money, and their care and sit down with them and share with them. It's very important to the business mission. <laughs>